Hey, happy Sunday. I wish you could sit on my back porch with me and have a glass iced tea, but I want to talk to you a little bit about my feelings post being on the Good Morning America show. So I'll take a sip because you're pretending you're with me, right? I would love to sit down and chat with you, by the way. So if we ever get that chance, let's do it. So post feelings after being on Good Morning America. Well, first of all, I'm really grateful that they called and asked for some story support and wanted to... Uh, talk about inflammatory. There has never been a segment about inflammatory breast cancer on a national television show, so that was very historic. I'm really grateful that they had Catrice Nolan, who is just an epic woman, who I've been with her since the beginning of her diagnosis time, to feature to cover about some unique things about the perspective of being a black woman medically as well as socially. But also to have Dr. Wayno from MD Anderson there was amazing, and then to include us in the Nashville meetup was powerful. Um, was it happy? Yes. Was there a fallout? Yes. Because anytime something exciting happens, there's always a crash. But anyone who knows me knows I always want more because I have so much desire to see IDC put on the map. Uh, one of the things that they didn't get to talk about, to have uh, something on TV for almost four minutes, it's huge for television, is we didn't get to talk about the symptoms. There's about a dozen symptoms that are unique to this disease, and they, it's such a difficult thing because one woman might have swelling, but one woman might have itching, one woman might have shooting pain. They're vague and they're different. And so I want to continue this conversation. We have a bunch of these postcards. If you shoot us an email, we, we, we did it, we made it a postcard. You can stick a stamp on the back and send it to a friend. I would love to send you a batch of these. They're on our website, and you can ask me for some. I'll mail them to you. Um, one of the things that was very exciting was to see how much the story meant to the IBC community of patients, but also the physicians. I had dozens of physicians literally around the world say, wow, we feel seen. We feel heard. This has not been talked about. Patients were echoing the same thing, and it was very validating for them. But here's something now where it's going to get harder. We need donations. We need you to send us the money to make the research happen. A lot of people think, oh, you're on television, you're flushed now. No, that's not how it works. Television got us some attention, and that's really good. Lives will be saved because of that. But does it necessarily generate donations? Not typically. But we're grateful, and we hope that Good Morning America and other shows like that will keep us in the conversation. So we need a couple things for you. When you see a news story like that, write them, tweet them, tell them that you're grateful and that we want more. And then take a minute, send a few dollars. Really and truly, our average donation is $35. We are not somebody that gets by off huge corporate sponsorship. It is literally the, the guy in the living room that cares about what we do. Do we want to grow and get those corporate sponsors, those donations? Absolutely, because we've got ambitious plans. So this went on longer than what I meant, but people are saying, hey, how do you feel now that you did that? I'm happy, but I want more. I want more, and I know together we can do it. Hope always.